After dozens of students at Yale University signed a petition to repeal the First Amendment, i.e. the amendment that protects their right to petition, you probably thought that liberals can't possibly get any dumber. Then you woke up the next day and saw Michael Moore standing in front of Trump Tower with a sign proclaiming, We are all Muslim. Now, I think Mr. Moore needs to look up the following words in the dictionary. We are all and Muslim, because when combined, those words make about as much sense as opening your mind so wide, your brain falls out. Take the word Muslim, for instance. The word Muslim means one who submits. In its theological context, it refers to one who submits to Allah, specifically one who submits to Allah by obeying the commands and decisions of Allah and Muhammad. According to the Quran, you're not a Muslim. You're not one who submits unless you unquestioningly obey Allah and Muhammad. Surah 33, verse 36 of the Quran. It is not for a believer, man or woman, when Allah and his messenger have decreed a matter that they should have any option in their decision. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, he has indeed strayed into a plain error. So when Allah and Muhammad have made a decision, real Muslims have no option but obedience. Surah 4, verse 65. But no, by your Lord, they can have no faith, they can't be Muslims, until they make you, O Muhammad, judge in all disputes between them and find in themselves no resistance against your decisions and accept them with full submission. People can have no faith, they can't be Muslims, until they accept Muhammad's decisions with full submission. Now, is Michael Moore saying that this, the Quranic definition of Muslim, applies to all of us? Is he saying that we all unquestioningly obey the commands and decisions of Allah and Muhammad? I certainly don't, and neither does Michael Moore. Do we all recite the Shahada? No. Do we all recite the five daily prayers? No. Do we all pay zakat? No. Do we all fast during the month of Ramadan? No. Do we all take the pilgrimage to Mecca? No. Do we all obey Allah's command to fight those who do not believe in Allah? No. The only jihad Michael Moore is waging with his little sign is a jihad against common sense and reality. So we're certainly not Muslims according to the Quranic definition of Muslims. The Quran plainly declares that only certain people are Muslims. And yet Michael Moore insists that we're all Muslims, regardless of what the Quran says. This means that according to Michael Moore, the Quran is wrong. It can't be the word of God, and Muhammad was a false prophet. But it gets worse, because according to the Quran, by putting himself into the same category with Muslims, Michael Moore is actually insulting and degrading Muslims. In Surah 3, verse 110, Allah says to Muslims, you are the best of peoples ever raised up for mankind. Muslims are the best people in the world. What about Jews, Christians, and idolaters? Surah 98, verse 6. Verily, those who disbelieve in the religion of Islam, the Quran, and Prophet Muhammad, from among the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, and al-Mushrikun, idolaters, will abide in the fire of hell. They are the worst of creatures. We are the worst of creatures. Muslims are the best of peoples. So should the Catholic Michael Moore, one of the worst of creatures according to the Quran, be telling Muslims, the best of peoples, that they're in the same category with him? Only if he's trying once again to convince them that Allah has no clue what he's talking about. In his effort to defend Muslims then, Mr. Moore has inadvertently insulted all Muslims by attempting to destroy the very meaning of the word Muslim, by declaring that the Quran is false, and by trying to remove Muslims from their exalted status as the best of peoples. Great job, Michael Moore. Assuming your intention was to fail miserably, 